Hey guys, it's Caden and I'm doing another tech review for you. And this one is going to be about the flag power mouse and keyboard combo. So this combo runs you about $20 on Amazon and it will give you a full RGB. So if you want that RGB craze, which is everybody talking about these days, you can get that with these. You know, the one thing, it's not going to be like all those expensive Razer, Corsair, $200 keyboards. And one, you'll get a... Uh, it will be all rainbow with it, so you'll get rainbow and different things like that. It is a very like mechanical feel uh, keyboard. It is not Cherry MX switches or blue switches or anything. It's kind of like the soft mushy switches, so kind of like a real mechanical keyboard. How they would be back then? The mouse has a DPI setting of 2,700. So, and the mouse will change colors. The one thing I had a problem with was changing the color from up and down. I was expecting to go brightness up or down. It doesn't do that. For some reason, mine does not do that. So, it's kind of like the thing. But it gives you this kind of matte, glossy finish on the keyboard. And then, I don't know if you can hear this, but it should be... Mechanical sounding keyboard. So... But the shift button is noticeably louder. So it's a space back. Everything with the spring on it. The keys can pop off. They do not include they do not include a key cap remover, so you can switch the keys on these. But you can't. These are basically rubber domes. And you have a caps lock. So if you have your caps lock, there should be a little LED indicator right up here that you can, it will show your caps lock and different things like that. So if you got your mouse, it's very urbically not, urbic nomically designed for a right-handed user, but it can be used for a left-handed. As you can see, there is gaps where it rests, so it's not completely solid. You can stick your fingers in there. But it is very comfortable to use for a long period amount of time. So on the mouse, you have this kind of broken textured uh, finish. And uh, it kind of, it will light up through it. And you can get clicks, so if you have a small hand, you can get clicks from about right here, if you can see that white, about right there. But it does produce some pretty quiet clicks. It does not have a free scroll wheel. Wheel does have a click as well. It's a normal scroll. It does have good grip for it. But yeah, if I was going to use this left-handed, you could still use it left-handed. But, as you can see, uh, the right is actually a little longer than the left. So it's kind of it kind of uh, more meant for right-handers than left. But, you can use it for both. Personally, I'm a right-handed, not a left-handed. And, uh, so, back to the keyboard. At the top of the keyboard, you got uh, all your media controls. So you'll have your music is F1, F2 is volume uh, down. 3's volume up, and then F4 is mute. F5 is go back, F6 go forward, uh, F7 is pause play, so all that, and then F8 is like the, if you're recording something, stop, re-end the, re the recording. And then F9, you got the uh, internet key, so you click that if you want to pull up something, click on your browser and then type in whatever you're going to look up. On F10, you got your email. You got uh, monitor functions on F11, and F12 is all your stars. So you got a, I don't know what that key is. You got a scroll lock, a scroll lock, and a pause break button. And these you can switch uh, the arrow keys. You can see you can switch with the WAS keys. You just have to have the keycap remover because they do not include it in this. So you get a full keyboard layout. So you have this and then your arrow keys. So you have the actual keys itself and then you got the arrow keys. You also got the numpad. Most gaming keyboards won't include, this, won't include the numpad sometimes because uh, they don't like, they don't think it's necessary and smaller usually is better for gamers. But as you can see, as my perfect aligning of this, is uh, they don't have very good grippers, so keep that in mind when you're adding them down. But the keyboard I first got had like these uh, 
grippers first, like the grippers before. So I use them. I use uh, they came with four grippers. So I attached four of them. I attached two in the middle on the back, and then two on the top sides because those don't have grippers. And one thing on the back is kind of like this brushed plastic finish. There's not much flex in the deck. You can see. Not much flex. Good sounding keyboard. So you got your enter. Just, those keys are a little louder. Just kind of a problem. But on this, a little quieter. So if you are looking for that mechanical feel, you can't get it. Mouse, perfect. I like it. It does have this uh, little LED light strip around the sides. So if you do want that light strip, kind of like the Razor Flyer 5 mouse pad, it's kind of like that. And then, as you can see, under the keyboard, you got these white domes. And it was kind of, uh, for the white uh, spaces, and that's where the light will shine through. And one thing I did figure out is you can actually, uh, if you take one of the keycaps off and you want to replace it with something, as long as they have these uh, see-through key, you'll actually get the color shining through it. These are a little more tinted, so you won't get that color shining completely through. But anything else you will. Very minimalist di uh, like uh, d design or uh, branding. Usually Corsair will have their thing come out about here and write giant Corsair logo. But this one's just a tiny little flag power right there. And then you don't get a wrist rest, but I find it's easy that you don't need one. It's actually very comfortable for you to use. And then if you are going into WASD, it's very comfortable because uh, your wrist won't be pushing down like some of the lower keyboards due to this curved design that it has where it goes up and then down. So it makes it a little easier to type. Same thing on this. It kind of has that thumb rest so you aren't like without the thumb rest and then kind of like hurting your wrist. So it's a little better. Well, urbically did not dynamic design. Ugh, it's a twister. So that will be it. Thank you for watching and see ya.